Hello, my name is Officer Nelson with Unity One. The spirit of instruction today is going to be on how to keep yourself and your loved ones safeguarded in your home. The first thing I'd like to talk to you about is, immediately upon entering your structure, lock the doors. It may sound simple, but so many people don't do that. You enter your home, immediately lock that door behind you. In securing your home, is paying attention to the windows. Make sure that when you enter your domicile, or rather when you're leaving, you close and lock them, especially if you're on the first floor. Don't forget that even if you're on the second floor, they're still accessible. When you leave your home, make sure that you lock those windows. Please make sure that you draw the blinds on your windows. Even if you're enjoying the breeze on a nice day, keep the blinds drawn to ensure your privacy and not allow people to see what you have inside your apartment. When exiting the apartment, make sure that you draw them completely closed. The next thing that I'd like to talk to you about in securing your home is given the appearance that you're home even when you're not. What I suggest is a timer. This can be for your lights, for your radio, for your television to give the appearance that someone is there even when they're not. This will normally plug directly into the socket and you can set it on a 24-hour timer to turn on during this time and off during this time, giving the impression that someone's in the apartment. The next thing that I'd like to talk to you about keeping your facility safe is adding a motion sensor to a light like this one on your patio. Should a criminal attempt to gain access through one of your windows or doors here on the patio, the motion sensor will click the light on and might just be what diverts them from gaining access. Now you're going to want to check with the local facilities that you live in to see if this is even allowed. But if they are permitted, make sure that when you depart your area, you're securing your firearms. It's the responsible thing to do and it'll keep future crimes from being committed by someone getting their hands on your firearm. Just because you meet somebody doesn't mean that they're trustworthy. Just because they live next door to you doesn't mean it's alright to discuss what's going on in your life, your vacation schedule, your work schedule, or anything else. I wish things were different, but the fact of the matter is, not everybody is trustworthy. If you let people know when you're not going to be home, that could be exactly what they're looking for to take advantage of your absence and gaining access to your home. We live in a world where everyone likes to share what's going on in their lives. Could be the birth of a new child, could be a vacation, could be that giant new flat screen television that you got, or the vacation that you're going on. Make sure that you don't disclose what's going on in your life, because while you put here I am on the beach tonight in Jamaica, somebody could be gaining access to your patio doors. Vacations are one example of this. Another example would be in social media tagging. A lot of times, a smartphone will tag what your location is. Using this, they can gain access to your address, and then determine what your hours of working are. While you're away is the perfect time to hit your house. If you have anything with you of value and you're traveling to and from your vehicle, hide it. Put it into its case, throw it into a backpack, into a briefcase or a suitcase, and walk it from one place to another without it being seen. Your neighbors don't need to know that you have the latest and greatest items. Make sure that you remove any objects of value when you exit your vehicle. And if you're going to be parking outside of your garage overnight, make sure that you pull the garage door open or out of there. A lot of people forget this. If they can get into your vehicle, now they've got access to your home as well. Pull that garage door up and open her out and take it with you. When you move from point A to point B, from your vehicle to your home and back, over to the swimming pool or the gym, pay attention to what's going on around you. Pay attention to your neighbors, your vehicles, and everyone that's moving about. Pay attention to the noises everything that you hear, smell, and sense. Responsibility for your keys. Should you lose them, have someone move out, make sure that you report it to the office right away so the office can get in here and change the locks. Make sure that if someone knocks on your door, you're not opening it for just anyone. Daylight intrusions are becoming more and more common. If you're not expecting a package, you're not expecting a pizza, you're not expecting a friend, don't open that door. Use that peephole and make sure that you know who's on the other side of it before you open that door. One more thing I'd like to suggest to you is the use of signage. You beware of dog sign. Owner has firearms. This property is protected by. All of these are a fantastic deterrence to the criminal element. You might not even own a dog, but they'll think twice before entering with Fido waiting for them. It's incumbent upon you that if you see something, say something. 
If you think that there's something amiss, it just might be. Don't brush it off as none of your business. You're responsible for your neighbors and your neighbors are responsible for you. Make sure that you call us. People that know Unity One and our reputation know that we are the professionals for the job. If you don't have our security services on your facility, recommend to your management that they at least give us a call and listen to what we have to say. Thank you for viewing. I'd like you to visit our website. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. Subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon.